okay. Ah, so guys, just moving there. Look at that, there's the other youngster. I'm gonna move marginally back already. <laughs> Since you got the camera stacked up on a... Ah, look at that. Hey, hey. I just explain quickly, we just disappeared there as you saw. We froze for a bit. Just because we started the whole drive without driving around much and sitting with his leopard. That puts a tremendous strain on the batteries. Now the engine's running, so we can give you this. But if we do disappear again, we'll probably be away for maybe five to ten minutes. What to do is unplug the system, charge it, run it off the car's alternator. Not to go into the technical stuff. Now, point is, if we do disappear, we won't disappear forever. We're going to stay away for a little while, try and charge the batteries up physically from the vehicle, and uh, get you snippets again. So we'll do everything we can to share as much as, as possible with you. But for the moment, it's holding. We're just going to have to keep the engine running. But how amazing is that view? Look at that. Seseka on the foreground, possibly Tingana in the background, most likely. Even though, uh, like I said, these spots are drawing some interesting pictures of me at the moment. Ah, that's magic, absolutely beautiful. Something in the eye there. Looking over at the other one. Other one. <laughs> so I don't know what to say really. It's just that is absolutely stunning. Tail. Oh. Yeah, I can watch leopards for ages and days and days and still be happy every time. Stunning view there through the background of, of the other one. And just uh, while we're looking at that one in the distance, question from Pat, <coughs> just regarding the bit of confusion about these leopards. Pat, um, just to explain a bit, we spoke about it yesterday as well. And it's, it's partly just because of my personality, I guess. I've always been a bit of a, of a perfectionist. I don't ever want to tell you that we're looking at one leopard and then we're looking at another one. And that is something I know that does happen sometimes. It's, no, it's not to do with any pointing fingers or anything like that. It's just something that does occur. But uh, with the way we do things, I want to approach it a little bit more specific. And in that process, I'm going to be learning more about hiding letters myself, getting better at it, hopefully sketching them last night a lot. Oh, look at that view. Wow. I think let's get that back on the monopod. Rory, good job there. <laughs> Literally, actually, wait, 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 wait. Quick view back here, we're gonna get closer to the leopards. Oh. 
good. But um, Pat's question basically just asking if it's a confusion between words, which one is which? Or is it just maybe a different leopard? Now Pat, the one on the left hand side there, the one standing up with the tail twitching, that we're going to get closer to now. Let's get that camera back on the front. Okay, back. I'm 100% sure that the one is Saseka in terms of previous sketches and ideas we've made. Also from a behavior fits in. Tingana, the other one, behaviorally at the moment seems perfect for Tingana. But I'm looking at his spots and I'm looking at some of the other whisker spots I had from previous pictures, also from what we received from some of the some of our friends really. Viewers. And the one lying in the branch at the moment, the one that's a little bit shy, I'm uh, I'm curious about. I've got some nice pictures this morning, I've made a few sketches. Oof, look at that again, leopard in the background. Looks like she might climb up that tree actually. Just looking at that tree as if she wants to climb. And the one lying in the foreground here I think might be... Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Aren't they just magical? Anyway, the one in the foreground I've got a feeling might even be a different leopard altogether, but that is purely me being specific and even pedantic about this. So, like I said, I'm going to open up too much of a can of worms, but over the next few days I will apply myself to really in my mind be confident as to which and what leopard we're looking at when we look at them. Oh, let me run the engine, sorry. everybody um, seems like the battery just uh, faded on us for a short while there it's gonna spend some time here at Gowrie um, while the guys just have the vehicle running for the next two minutes but so they're gonna reposition and get a nice uh, shot lined up for us so when we get back to them we can start off with a some more beautiful leopard unbelievable start to this morning uh, just sitting here getting all excited myself in the FCC it's spectacular just a shot with the two leopard in it and uh, to see Saseka heading up the tree like that really is a beautiful morning to spend with his leopard. I hope you're all having a great time with us here at Wild Earth in Juma Game Reserve. But, um, we'll be back on uh, the vehicle with Peter and Rory in just a moment. Reattached, plugged everything back in and we should be able to stay with us for a while now. I can't promise you time but I can promise you that this is beautiful. Marco is seeing this literally a few seconds before he cut back to us. Just the way he sounded over the radio, he had that sort of quiet, contented laugh. And if someone has done this for a long time, that lives and works out in these environments, can get that feeling, then I know that you can sense it as well. Absolutely beautiful sighting. Right up in that marula tree, we saw it from the distance, we've come up closer. This is Saseka. It's a beautiful one. Look at where she is. Look at that branch very carefully. No promises again, because you never know what's going on out here this afternoon. But if these leopards aren't close to this tree this afternoon, I might just try and get up and go and sit on that branch. But of course, if the leopards are around, we don't want to disturb them in any way, which is why they are so comfortable with our presence. Look at that, fast asleep. I mean, this really is the sort of the postcard for leopard, if you want. Big marula branch, lead spread out either side of the branch, happily and deeply asleep. Yeah, we have been spoiled beyond being spoiled this morning by these leopards. I want to show you one or two different views of this tree. Drive around. It's always tricky. Let me just cut sort of halfway like that. Oh, yeah. It's always tricky to stay zoomed in and see if we play with this. It's relatively even ground here. 